This program is brought to you by Sunglow Feeds. Feed their potential. Next to our show stick, one of our most pieces, important pieces of equipment when we go to the show ring is our show holder. There's some do's and don'ts with that, and we see a lot of mistakes um, with either how they're put on uh, or the type and kind of, of where, what they're using. And so, uh, you know, like on our particular heifer here today, uh, she's a predominantly black heifer, so we've chosen to put a black show holder on her. Um, you know, I think the trend is, you know, black on black holders on black cattle. Uh, if you get another, if you get a lighter colored calf, a shorthorn, a Hereford, Red Angus, you know, some of them lighter colored breeds, you know, we might grab a brown halter or something. Um, but uh, we like black on black, and, and we actually take it one step further. There's so many options when it comes to show holders and leads nowadays um, that. Uh, we like the black show holders with the black hardware, uh, the black rings and the black um, chains. So, uh, you know, one thing that uh, on these show holders, you can get them to where they're kind of, uh, you know, we can get them with all kinds of bling on them. We can get them with all kinds of uh, designs. I'm a person that I feel simple uh, attire, simpler is better. Uh, so. Uh, when we talk about the show holder, we, we can put the show holder on in one of a couple different ways. We prefer to actually pull the animals into a grooming chute and uh, we'll actually have somebody come back and kind of scratch their back in a little bit, let them know they're there, lock their head in, take the rope holder off, put the show holder on, and then put the rope holder back on top of it. Uh, and then we'll back them out and tie them to one of the vertical upright bars and, and get them ready to go to the show ring. Uh, another way you can do it, um, is you can actually fit the show holder on if they're tied to a gate or in the stall you can actually fit the show holder um, on them tied up and uh, the one thing I want I, that I will warn people about on this is if you do it that way and it's fine take the show holder and put the halter part on first and and work it underneath your rope holder really good um, and then run your your lead through the rings and, and hook them um, I have found that uh, when I do it this way, uh, preferably it's easier to do it when their head's tied down and they're eating or they're eating hay because they're not, they're not pulling back on that halter so it's a little looser and it's a little easier to feed through. But uh, you know, just make sure that you get it the, the, the entire halter under the rope halter so that, that way when you get ready to go in the ring and take that rope halter off, um, you're not all caught up. Uh, another thing I want to talk about is is the different lead options that we've got. Um, is, and so we, uh, you know, years ago when I was showing, we had one lead option and it was, it was a chrome chain. Um, and it served perfect. But uh, nowadays we, we can get them wrapped, we can get them with, with short stubs, uh, spikes, whatever you wanna call them, blunt tip spikes. Um, and, and you'll see that that's what we've got on her is, is one that's got the short blunt tip spikes and the reason that is those cattle it helps those exhibitors uh control that calf a little bit more uh, and it helps them cattle respond to the showman it lets them uh do things a little quicker and let let them know when that showman wants them to lead if they want to be stubborn when they go to pull on that show holder it's not hurting them it's just putting more pressure right on that jaw um and the same thing goes for uh, um you know if that calf wants to go get get away from the showman it's gonna put, when they go to try to jerk away from that showman, it's gonna put more pressure right there on that jaw. So uh, another thing, I have had cattle in the past that are, that are very sensitive to this chain. They don't like it, sometimes it'll clink and, and uh, or they don't like the way that metal feels up against their skin. And, and so we can either buy show holders that are wrapped nowadays, or, or if that's not, just take one of your old um, chain holders, go to the TSC or the local uh, farm supply store, get some vet wrap that matches the color of your halter wrap it and uh, a few times just to take that that clink and that that feel off of them um, so you'll notice on her show halter placement is very important in how your calf responds we don't want it too far up 
we don't want it too far down. Uh, we like to try to have that the, the bridge part of the of the halter, which would be the 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 nose part. Um, we we pre we prefer to have it sitting an inch and a half to two inches right below their eye uh, for two reasons. One, it doesn't allow the side piece to get in their eye, and two, that's the most stable part of we, we can, where we can control that calf's head. If we get it too far up, it's going to be in their eye and they're just going to be uh, upset the whole time they've got it on. If we get it too far down towards their nose, it has a chance of slipping off the end when we go to pull on that halter and then we got a loose calf. Um, so we like to have it an inch, inch and a half below the nose. Uh, one of the most common questions that, uh, that I've been asked when I've had the opportunity to, to visit with people about showmanship is, uh, and halt show halters is, well, how long do they need to be? And, and I've seen them all the way from too long to all the way from too short. Um, if we get them too long, especially on a young exhibitor, then they can, t they can get tripped up. Those, those young exhibitors can step on it, the calf can step on it. Um, it's just in the way. Um, we don't want to take a, a, and knot it up into a ball because then that just takes away from the overall look and it's a distraction more honestly for the showman. Um, so what we prefer to do is we like our lead when it's on the calf, we actually will have our showman stand beside the calf and we want that lead to fall right below it, their kneecap about an inch or two. And that's, the, that's where we have found the perfect length because if we go any shorter than that, like I said, if that calf goes to jerk away from us, we don't have any leverage to, to hold on to it. So. Over the years, we have found that if that show halter falls an inch, inch and a half, two inches below the kneecap, that's about right. You know, I understand that that you're probably, if you got young kids that are just starting out, you're gonna have to buy leads throughout the years, but uh, definitely it'll be an investment worth it because it'll make their life in the show ring that much simpler. This is a Walton Webcasting Production. Livestock like you've never seen before.